Frank, five years since the IPO, where does time go? Um, I don't know, but I'm, uh, I'm glad I'm here five years later. Uh, it's been a great five year ride. You know, we've added six ships to our fleet in that time. We acquired uh, a competitor in Prestige Cruise Holdings. Um, we've, um, we've doubled revenue and uh, earnings per shares have increased five-fold, so it's been a pretty good five years. You know, Delta was out this morning, had a, a very strong quarter. Take us through your 2018. I know when we last heard from you in the third quarter, bookings look strong. What does it look like now? Yeah, nothing has really changed. The, the, uh, if anything, the, the economy continues to churn along. You know, we have uh, record markets, uh, record low interest rates, record low unemployment. Even the world economies are strong. No one even talks about Greece anymore. So we, we've got a pretty good situation worldwide in the macroeconomics area. We're a discretionary um, uh, spending company and I think that people have more money in their pockets today and are excited about having even more money in their pockets uh, uh, later this year and into the future because of the tax cuts. So it's, it's all good. How have you thought about tax reform? Uh in terms of earnings, what type of boost can you expect? I'm guessing people get their, their bonuses at work, Walmart giving out bonuses. A lot of these companies yeah. give out bonus, maybe they spend it on a cruise vacation. Yeah, maybe they will. I, certainly they will probably uh, um, spend their money somehow, and I think that uh, the cruise industry will get its fair share. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal story for you. Uh, you started a cruise line from scratch. You know, all these VCs are starting apps. Uh, you can't do that again today. No, it's one of those perfect storms in a very good way. We started the business back in uh, 2003 with $7 million. Uh, today, you couldn't fill the tank uh, with fuel in one of our ships for that kind of money. So we feel very, very fortunate. The, the, the management team, the investor group that uh, backed me at the beginning are, are still with me today. So they're not just investors, they're friends, they're family. And uh, I'm so happy and proud to be able to continue to lead this wonderful company. Are there other brands out there thinking about M&A? I mean, you sold the brand you created to a Norwegian cruise line. Is it, are there M&A opportunities in this space? Well, you know, the cruise industry has uh, grown over the years through consolidation. Um, Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings just did by acquiring my, my old company uh, that uh, owned Oceana Cruises and Region 7 Seas Cruises. There's still pockets, but there's, there's less pretty girls available than, than ever before. So. Um, or pretty guys for that matter too. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there, there are still opportunities, but they're uh, slim pickings. What about the regulatory? As someone who started their own company, how is the regulatory outlook now under this current administration? Has, have things eased as much? Has it become easier for you to do business? We haven't seen much uh, yet in that arena. Um, the, uh, the, the change in uh, policy to Cuba didn't affect us a whole lot. In fact, if anything, it strengthened the cruise industry as the best way to visit Cuba. So, uh, so far, I think it's been uh, a positive. Um, tax reform, like we said earlier, has a broad, uh, a broad reach, and I think it's, uh, it's good for all business. Uh, but but the, the kinds of regulations that uh, the administration is talking about hasn't touched us very much yet. And lastly, I'd ask you about what happened with the storm and the, and the bomb cyclone. How do you manage through something like that so you don't ha so maybe that doesn't happen again next time? You know, weather's unpredictable, and that's what happened this weekend. Um, the good news is the, our ship is back in the Caribbean uh, carrying 4,000 happy cruisers, so uh, all good. How big could these ships get? How, can, how big can they get? I don't want to say infinity, but they can get bigger. Uh, you know, we now uh, have um, uh, six ships or so that are 170,000 tons, carry 4,200 guests, um, uh, and, and we're able to uh, uh, you know, put on board just about everything you can think of. Our newest ship, Norwegian Bliss, that will be in New York this coming May, um, has a 1,000, think of this, a 1,000 foot long racetrack. That's not normal. No, double decker. Yeah eight turns, two turns cantilevered um, and banked over the side of the vessel. Ten cars can race at 35 miles per hour. I've done it on one of our other ships, Norwegian Joy, that's in Shanghai today, and I haven't had that much fun since I learned how to ride a bike. I mean, it's fantastic. I, I gotta get out of the office. Well, Frank Del Rio, congratulations on this. We'll Thanks for taking time. to be on board. Fair enough, thank you. Thank you.